are ready for eight rounds of featherweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action is Neil Teague and your timekeeper, Alex McKenzie. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in officially at 58.3 kilos. He brings the ring a professional record of four wins, two losses. Four of those wins coming by way of knockouts. Tonight, wearing black and gold shorts from Rwanda. for Belfast, Kurt Walker here. As he's now brought for the final instructions in the center of the ring. He takes on Rodrigo de la Vera. And we get away on the round one. On one of eight of this featherweight out between Kurt Walker, undefeated from Belfast in the north of Ireland. Again, Montes Rodrigo Gomez de Oliveira from Brazil. The Brazilian comes here with a four and two, six bout record. Two of those four victories by way of KO as Kurt Walker goes to work already. One of those five victories for Walker is a KO as he lands a decent right hand. Right up above us here, Kurt Walker in white and blue trunks is the black, white and gold of Dolavera. Walker. With a slight, one would think, reach advantage. A couple of good combinations, a good left hand, and followed by two right hands. As Dolavera tries to come forward. Very high defense from Dolavera. Low hand carriage from Walker. Right hand just under his chin. Comes forward with the left hand, tries to dictate terms of this contest in the opening round. Just over a minute into the opening round. as Kurt Walker, undefeated so far in his professional career. Takes it to Montes de la Vera, here in Leisureland and Galway. De la Vera moves away from that right hand from, sticks out a left of his own, as Walker moves along the ropes, comes back, takes a left, hand as we move halfway through the opening round the first of eight Kurt Walker from Belfast versus Rodrigo de Oliveira from San Sebastião in Brazil de Oliveira coming forward now but Walker works to the body a left right and slightly told to just raise those left that left hand a little more, but Walker works very good right hand, a very good combination from Walker, and Walker comes forward, puts Dolivera on the back foot, here as we go into the final minute of the first round here at Leisureland and Galway. Walker, crouched, right hand, trying to find a way through Dolivera's defence. Does so. Moves back, moves back along the ropes. Walker wants to keep this at long range in the early stages of this bout. Round one of eight. He's back in towards the red corner, but now steps away to the neutral corner as we hit the final 10 seconds. But Kurt Walker, a good right hand to the body from Walker, and followed by another. And an opening round. First of eight. That I would think. Round number two of this featherweight clash here in Leisureland and Galway on the Conlon Boxing Promotion, Galway Rising. And of course, association with top-ranked promotions who last were associated 
with Boxing in Ireland back in 1972, the great fight between Muhammad Ali and Al Blue Lewis at Crow Park that went 14 to the 15 scheduled rounds. Here in round two of a Schedule 8 round featherweight title, Kurt Walker from Belfast in control so far against Juntas de la Vera from Brazil. A wild left hand from the Brazilian does it land, goes into the salt hill air as Walker, quite cagey as he's been through the opening four minutes of this contest. Dolivera, head bowed, defence high, tries to sneak away forward. Walker uses that long left jab, switches to a south boss dive for a couple of seconds, gets a three punch combination through. A bit of a low blow from Walker, he's already been warned about them, but Dolivera continues on, unfazed. Some good shots from Walker there. As they're right above us here in our commentary position on the neutral corner. Kurt Walker steps away from a couple of good shots from Dolivera, probably his best couple of seconds of the contest so far, Dolivera. But left hand out again, Kurt Walker leads, works to the body. Doesn't get through. Dolivera ducking, diving, trying himself as Walker lands onto his just the other side of his left eye. Walker proving elusive to the Brazilian as we step in to the final minute in round number two. Kurt Walker. With another of these. Michael Conlon organization boxers who's finding his way through the professional ranks. Gradually, but going well. All going well so far. A good jab from Walker. Tries to get through with a right to the body. Doesn't really land. Dolivera ties him up towards the left centre of the ring. Good shot from Walker. Dolivera retaliates with a left right of his own. Walker right above us here in the neutral corner, dashes away from a wild right hand from Dolivera. Didn't really connect. Walker with two left so ducks and dives, sitting on the ropes. But Walker gets out of that little bit of a tricky situation. Dolivera coming forward again and right above us here in this neutral corner. A good right to the body from Kurt Walker. Dolivera looks a grizzled campaigner despite the fact he's only had six bouts. The end of round two. Kurt Walker. Round number three of eight of this featherweight clash here at Leisureland in Galway on the Conlon Boxing Promotion in association with Seven Bar here in Galway City and the top rank organisation. Kurt Walker from Belfast defending a professional record of 5 0 versus Santos de Oliveira from San Sebastião in Brazil. Six bouts for de Oliveira, unfortunately, has met defeat in two of those six. The two of his four victories have been by the way of knockout. One of Kurt Walker's five by that same method. Walker in control of the fight, keeping it more or less at long range. Dolivera trying to wrap him up here over towards the red corner. From the centre of the ring, Kurt Walker comes forward. Wild from Dolivera, he gets a little bit off balance. Walker retaliates, comes through with a right hand. A left to the body and a left to the jaw from Walker. Dolivera steps back, comes forward himself. Bit of retreating action from Walker, but nothing wrong. As Dolivera maybe senses he's behind on the referee scorecard and thinks he's got to do something about this to redress the balance. Comes forward. Walker ducks, dives, moves around the ring. Using the ring to his advantage, Kurt Walker. Ducks and dives in the neutral corner. Fresh air shot from the Brazilian. A good right uppercut from Kurt Walker. That steadies the Brazilian's progress in the centre of the ring. D'Oliveira now coming with that left hand. He's crouched. A little bit of swelling around the lip of the Brazilian. The upper lip, that is. Walker at the moment, unscathed. Walker with a left hand. A wild right from the Brazilian, a right to the jaw of the Brazilian from Walker. A left-right combination that does land both of them. 
he ducks and dives, he sits again on the ropes, ducks and dives his way out of it, in control, very mobile Walker, is further away from Belfast. Who lands a right to the body of D'Oliveira. D'Oliveira having his best spell, deep in the final minute of the third round. Came forward there with a left-right combination himself. Walker ties him up. The referee will ask him to split, and it's in the centre of the ring again. A good right from Kurt Walker as D'Oliveira comes forward. He walks onto a glancing blow from Walker that didn't really cause the Brazilian much trouble. But it did land. A left, slightly off target from Walker. It's right above us here on the left-hand side as they go in towards the red corner. Walker tries to accommodate him into the final five seconds of the third round. A good, good uppercut from D'Oliveira, but Walker in control. Next up, round number four. Kurt Walker is up and ready to go. Pontus D'Oliveira comes from the corner on my left as I speak to you. That's the red corner. That is the corner where Fernando Mosquera will come from in tonight's main event, the Galway Rising event, where Kira Malloy will return home. About Malloy has been looking forward to ever since he's returned professional. A former Irish champion, of course, has a massive following in his own native Uchtarard and all along the west coast of Ireland. And indeed, throughout the country, he's gaining a bit of a cult status in boxing. But here in this featherweight title, it's Kurt Walker that's hoping to please his following who've travelled here from Belfast to support the featherweight as he takes on Juantas Dolavera in this contest. Walker ahead. On the scorecards as we speak, we're in the fourth round. We're 45 seconds into that round. We're live on ESPN in association with Conlon Boxing and Top Rank Promotions. Of course, the big fight sponsored by the Seven Bar here in Galway. That is Kieran Malloy's main sponsor. A good left hand from Kurt Walker. Lands out of the jaw of D'Oliveira. Now he puts D'Oliveira on the back foot. D'Oliveira, to his credit, comes back forward, comes forward. Hands... Raised high, right hand held above his chin. Punches onto the gloves of Walker as Walker is as slippery as an eel as he moves left and he moves right. D'Oliveira is coming at him, he knows he's behind, he lands a couple of good shots onto the face of Kurt Walker. But Walker is able to slip away and again take command. A good right, he leads off, he slips away once again. Walker ducking in the blue and white trunks Walker the black white and gold of D'Oliveira Walker lands a left to the lower body of D'Oliveira as they step away D'Oliveira comes forward a wild left hand from D'Oliveira but a right hand that did land prior to that and Walker has probably took as much punishment in this round as he has of any of the preceding rounds. But again, Walker steps away. We're into the final 10 seconds of the round. Final half minute, sorry, of the round. Walker. Probably just needs to come back. Good right hand, a good left that follows up from Walker. D'Oliveira lands a right to the shoulder of Walker. They follow him around the ring. Walker slips away. But D'Oliveira, to his credit, is coming forward in this, in this round. And by far, he's best of the contest so far. We're over on the far side of the ring. Walker again tends to sit on the ropes, ducks and dives, covers up well, then lands a left to get out of trouble as the referee slips inside himself. We now hit the final 10 of this round. A wild right hand from D'Oliveira. He goes after his man. Walker ties him up. A good left, from, a good right from Walker finishes the round. And that fourth round might just have went the way of D'Oliveira. It was certainly his best of the four. <laughs> Referee clearing some water from the floor here at Leisureland. Just between rounds there, we noticed a slight nick on the eye of Kurt Walker. He's round, he's Cornerman working hard on just over the right eye. It may have came from the glancing blow from D'Oliveira. But Walker comes forward here. Now gone to a southpaw stance for the opening part of this round. 
with 29 seconds into the fifth round. D'Olivera certainly coming back, a good shot from Walker. We need to keep this at long range, one would think, to let that eye settle. D'Olivera, who had by far his best round in the previous, the fourth round. And, mo and most people would have the opinion that that was a round for the Brazilian. But back here in Leisureland, in the Conlon Boxing Bill, in association with Bob Arum's top rank promotions. Kurt Walker from Belfast and Hontas de Oliveira from Brazil. In this featherweight bout, the fifth of seven. Next up, the Irish light heavyweight belt up for grabs in what promised to be a cracker between Jamie Morrissey and Kevin Cronin. A real humdinger and a great curtain raiser for the main event itself, featuring Galway's own Kieran Maloney. Oliveira coming forward as we've reached just after the halfway mark in the fifth round. A good left from Walker. It was a lunging left, but he made contact with the face of Oliveira. A left and right that don't really land from Walker, but he must gain, regain control of this contest, one would think. And certainly, the Brazilian came forward and came forward well in the previous round. They're locked up there. Walker tied up the Brazilian. Probably growing in confidence as Walker lands a left. Needs to land more than that though, one would think. Low left hand from Walker. Comes forward, head bowed. They tie up, the referee will split, ask them to split. And he'll give a slight warning to both. A good left hand from Walker lands on the chin of the Brazilian, who's unfazed, but it was a good shot. It hit the target. Maybe need a little bit more power. But Walker moving away, using the ring, comes forward again with a left hand, jabs out that Zopa right hand, a good left hand from Dolivera, very good right hand from Dolivera, right above us here in Legendland of Galway. A very good section of the fight from the Brazilian, who landed with a couple of decent blows. We hit the final 10 seconds in round number five. Walker ducks over, over his own corner, the blue corner. Moves it back towards the neutral, but now back in the centre of the ring, and we finish round number five. It was a very even round, one would think. Could have went either way. Get the ring. Round, six. round number six of eight. In this featherweight contest here at the Conlon Boxing Promoted event, the Galway Rising event here in Leisureland and Salt Hill in Galway. And this featherweight bout, Hunter de Oliveira, coming forward, has had the best of the exchanges for the last two rounds. But certainly, Kurt Walker, who had been working well earlier, needs to regain control of this contest. A packed attendance here at Leisureland. All the latecomers are virtually in, and they're here in anticipation of a great performance from their own. And that young man, of course, is Kieran Malloy from Uchtarard, formerly of Uchtarard Boxing Club, now part of the Michael Conlon organisation, has been in training with Elgar Fernandez in Lockbury University in the UK, preparing for tonight's fight. In this featherweight fight bout though, it's certainly got interesting the last couple of rounds. Oliveira may not have the power of Walker, but he's certainly landing a couple of punches. He is coming forward, he's determined, and he's dogged, to say the least. Walker covers up, trying to protect that right eye. He's right over us here in the neutral corner. Oliveira not really landing, a very good left hand from Walker. He needs, him. He needs more of that though. Oliveira goes with a long left hand over the top, a good shot from Walker. Oliveira though, not phased by the work of the Belfast man, who moves back to the centre of the ring, trying to keep it at long range, moves away, paws out the left hand, sticks out the left hand again, right over us here in our commentary position. A good right from Walker doesn't really have the meat to cause the Brazilian trouble. Minute 48 in the sixth round. They're locked up again. D'Olivera, through vociferous encouragement from his corner, comes forward, but Kurt Walker lands four unanswered punches. A very good right hand that came across and certainly troubled the Brazilian. But again, the Brazilian, his good right hand lands on the gloves of the Belfast man. Walker, a good inside right uppercut, right uppercut that did land on the meat, and the Brazilian felt that. 
Walker though, covering up, protecting that right eye. It doesn't seem to have got much worse. But a good shot, very good shot from the Brazilian and a very good left hand from the Brazilian. It's getting scrappy above us. Walker needs to bring this back to a, a long range fight. The Brazilian is hounding him down. The Brazilian is on top again in this round. He's forcing the issue. He's forcing Walker to retreat. Walker again is elusive. But he wouldn't want to get careless as we hit the final 10 seconds. A very good right hand from Walker. An excellent, another excellent right hand. Coming late in this round. Kurt Walker certainly rising to the occasion. And that the end. Round number seven of eight in this featherweight contest on the Conlon Boxing Promoted Bill here in Leisureland in Galway. Kurt Walker from Belfast. Five and all. Paulus de Oliveira, four and two in his six bout career. The Brazilian came forward in the last couple of rounds. But in this penultimate round, Kurt Walker I would think needs to return to the Kurt Walker of rounds number two and three, most definitely. D'Oliveira got a bit of encouragement in the previous two rounds, has come forward. One wonders, has he the power though? His punches don't seem to pack power. But let's not speak too soon. As Walker returns again, the left jab. Sticking it out, center of the ring. Good shot of the body for Kurt Walker. Walker, a very good uppercut, landed on the chin of the Brazilian and certainly sent him back. That left jab also landed on his chin. Walker ducks and dives, ducks inside the attack of the Brazilian as the referee parts the boxes. Center of the ring, good shots, good three punch combination from Walker, but at least landed. D'Oliveira comes forward, sticks out a left jab, a good right from, Do from Walker, a left that was stopped by the glove of the Brazilian. Kurt Walker with a very good left hand. Again, the left hand, the second left hand lands on the gloves of the Brazilian. Right above us here, the Brazilian coming forward, but Kurt Walker steps away, goes back over towards the red corner. The referee now speaking to Walker, we give him a little warning. The Brazilian complaining to the referee, but they're back at it, and we're two, over 2-8 two of the second round. The second penultimate round, the seventh of eight. God, we've got an excellent right shot to the, below the left eye of the Brazilian from Walker. Needed to follow that up, has followed her up with a right to the body and a left that landed to the glove of the, the Brazilian, protecting his jaw. Walker again shapes, moves away, dances along, goes, dances right in front of us, moves left and right, slips. An attack from D'Oliveira. D'Oliveira now has him in the corner. But Walker slips away. Maybe Walker is regaining control of this contest. But it is two big rounds for Walker, I would feel. Need it. He's certainly going well in this seventh. But D'Oliveira again attacks as we hit the final ten seconds of the seventh round. Honda's D'Oliveira certainly not letting the Brazilian flag down. As Kurt Walker he lands a beautiful right hand right above us. But again, they lock horns and the referee splits them. And we look, I would think, they'd have a fantastic, we look to have a fantastic final round of wearing us. They touch gloves for the eighth and final round of this featherweight battle between Brazilian Jose Rodrigo Gomez de Oliveira and Belfast Kurt Walker. Walker ahead on the cards, one would think, heading into the final round, but de Oliveira has certainly came back into the fight in the latter half of the game, the scrap. But one would think that Walker regained control there in the seventh round. De Oliveira, who knows he needs a big final round, is coming forward. Right above us here, De Oliveira would try the left-right combination. There's no real power in either punch, though, as Walker slips away. Comes back himself with a left, a good left, a couple of jabs that do land. A left to the body that also landed. Being urged on by his supporters ringside. 
Walker, who to his credit has protected that slight cut above the right eye to great effect in the preceding rounds, although he is landed and caught with a shot there right above us. He catches Dolivera back himself with a left hand, but he needs to slip away from that corner. His right hand high to cover that eye. Dolivera coming forward, a couple of good punches from Dolivera, left and right. Did land on the body of Walker, but one would think caused a little damage. The spray comes from both fighters as they get a very good straight right hand from Walker. That's a lot better from the Belfast man. Midway through the final round of eight. And this featherweight battle as Dolivera comes forward. And the Brazilian certainly knows that he may need a knockout in this final round. And he's certainly gone in search of it. But whether he has the actual power to, to dispatch Walker is another thing. Walker dances and smiling. But Dolivera comes back at him in this neutral corner right above us. Now in the red corner, as he dances over towards the blue corner, Walker. Walker back in the centre of the ring. Dolivera comes forward. Again, they're above us. Walker with a left that does land, but no real menace in the punch. Locked up over the neutral corner. Walker is covered up, slips away. But Dolivera is doing the pressing in this latter part of the final round. Inside the last 40 seconds of it, Intriguing rounds of boxing at the featherweight division. Kurt Walker of Belfast, undefeated, versus Juntas Oliveira from Brazil. The Brazilian certainly just hasn't come here for the fresh air. He's putting up a very good battle, and Walker might just least slightly be ahead. Walker steps away, he jaws at the Brazilian. He tends to move away, tries to keep it at long range, turns his man. A right and a wild left from Oliveira. Again, the referee calls him to, to split. We're into the final 10 seconds. And Kurt Walker might just about preserve, one would think, with a little bit of comfort, his unbeaten record, although credit must be given to the Brazilian, who has put up a tremendous battle here at Featherweight in Leisureland and Galway. Ladies and gentlemen,